start. All right, so thank you everybody for attending. We're going to be going through the ACA manager and we're gonna be focusing a little bit in on the specifics of the ACA manager, but also taking a high level overview, look at the application itself. Uh, this presentation, this demo is really intended for brokers and uh, CPAs and business partners and companies that really wanna offer their customers a, a service, a solution, uh, that's a value added to what they're, you know, what they do best, to what you guys do best. Um, so uh, this will be a little bit more oriented towards you, though. Lots of other people could get something out of this as well. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'd like to introduce our host. Okay, uh, Kristen Justice. So Kristen has a lot of experience in the ACA world and HR technology. Uh, she's going to be presenting the solution and. Um, we're going to be kind of taking you look, not a lot of PowerPoints. We're going to be actually looking live right in our system, right in our application, and we'll have some time for questions at the end. Uh, so Kristen, please take it from here, and you're in good hands. All right. Thank you so much, Jonathan, for the introduction. And as Jonathan, Jonathan said, thank you all for taking time out of your schedules to be with us today. So um, just like Jonathan said, we're going to jump right into the demo of the platform that is going to be able to help you and your clients with compliance for the Affordable Care Act, give you the tools that you need to track those variable hour employees, and be able to autofill the 1084 and 1085 key forms, because as we know, no one's wanting to do those forms manually, and there's a lot of risk involved in that. So we are going to talk about the reporting functionality of the HR technology, and really focus specifically on how the Beyond Pay 2.0 platform can help you and your clients. Uh, the second thing we're going to go over is the variable hour tracking. So again, this is one of the only PowerPoint slides we're going to go through, and then we're going to jump into a live look at the demo. So don't jump off yet. We're not just going to stay in the PowerPoint. So second thing is the variable hour tracking, providing all these different methods of collecting time on those variable hour employees to ensure that if they reach the cusp of 30 hours worked in a week or the average of 130 hours per month, that you are able to see that. And in case of an audit, you're able to show that you acknowledged it and that then you offer the benefit enrollment tool to allow them to elect benefits. And they have to be the affordable, of course, health care coverage, not just any health care coverage, as you all know, which is a role that you're playing with your clients and ensuring that you're offering the right benefit plans to your group. Number four is the look back visibility. It's a huge piece. Uh, the IRS has hired over 16,500 auditors, literally, for 2016, to ensure that groups over 50 are adhering to the regulations of the Affordable Care Act. And so they're going to need to see the historical data, and they're going to need to make sure that you, your clients are offering the affordable health care coverage to full-time eligible employees. And then one interface. The beauty of our platform is that we're offering all of this to you and your clients on a single sign-on solution. So by no means are we saying that we have all these different solutions, but rather saying we have one solution that can do all this for your clients and can be a tool that you use and offer your clients give them what they need to ensure that they have everything they need to be compliant with the Affordable Care Act. So again, we're not brokers ourselves. We cannot retain COR. We do not want to because we do not specialize in health benefits. Rather, we're providing the tool for benefit enrollment. We're providing the means of tracking variable hours and the reporting capability to autofill the 1084 and 1085 C forms for the Affordable Care Act. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the demo itself because I don't want to waste any time, I want to go ahead and show it to you because there's a lot we can go over today. So what you should be seeing now is the actual login screen for the Beyond Pay 2.0 platform. So the login screen looks the same for every employee, whether it's a director of HR or a part-time employee, but the magic happens when the employee logs in. From there is when it takes them into their configured dashboard made specifically for them and their role in the company. And so what we're seeing here, we've made it look like beyond pay. We splashed it with our colors and our images. But for your client, we're going to configure it to make it look like their own because we want the employees to be excited and feel like they have their own really cool technology. We even have some broker groups that we've partnered with recently that are using, them, them, using this themselves as a tool for enrolling their clients. They're also providing this kind of like a Zenefits module, if you want to think of it that way. I know Zenefits was a hot topic in 2015 for everyone because they were coming in and saying that they have this free module as long as they get benefits. And well, we all know that it was a watered down version of what the admin really, really should be. So you can look at this as a solution 
to that competition you may be failing today with benefits because you can use this as a tool for your clients. You can say, I have an open enrollment tool for you. You can use this. We're offering this to you. And then you can have that trust with us in knowing that we can't take that business from you and we have no interest in it because we are not brokers and we will never gain BOR. So you get to retain the BOR and your client and then you have a trusted partner who's going to handle the payroll and provide them the tools to track their compliance with the Affordable Care Act. So you are still their trusted advisor if you're a CPA. You are still the benefit professional when it comes to what plans and all the information in regards to premiums with the different carriers. You are still that person to them. We're simply providing the tools and the HR technology to help them with their processes to ensure that they're more efficient and they're streamlining everything that they're doing from onboarding to time collection, recruitment, scheduling, all HR processes through payroll and then terming, even offering those Section 125 and COBRA administration plans. So you name it, we have lots and lots of products available, but today we're going to focus specifically on the Affordable Care Act component and how it works with the Beyond Pay 2.0 platform. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right in as Josh Bronson. Now, there are a lot of components of the Affordable Care Act, as you all know, so we're not going to spend much time talking about what the ACA is because you all have been studying that probably since 2014. So what we're looking at here is the dashboard for this variable hour employee. Now, he has a timesheet because he has time collected in on him on a daily basis. So when it comes to time collection, we have lots of different methods of collecting time. And I do see questions coming in in the chat bubble. Thank you so much for sending in your questions. Please continue to do that. And then when we conclude the webinar here in about 15 minutes, Jonathan is going to address all of your questions. So please put them in there and we'll get to all of them. Uh, we'll try to get to all of them here at the end of the session. And if we can't get to all of them, I'll be following up with each one of you individually. So don't worry, we'll make sure to get those answers. So time sheet, time collection. Lots of different methods of time collection. If you have a group who needs to be collecting time um, using the mobile app, we have that functionality. So the technology comes with the mobile app. If you have a group that has their employees being distributed between numerous different locations, we can actually collect time using the mobile app where they just simply click clock in or clock out. We also have hard clocks that can be mounted on the wall. We have a biometric scanner which scans that fingerprint to ensure there's no buddy punching going on, no friends can clock each other in and out because we all have our very own fingerprint. Then we also have badge scanners. And then we also have a clock where an employee enters a series of digits to clock them in or clock them out. Okay? We can also have employees clocking in and out from the dashboard as you see here. They would just simply click clock in, which is a green button, or clock out, which is a red button. So all those different methods are going to ensure that your clients are actually correctly monitoring those variable hour employees to ensure that if they reach the cusp of the ACA status of full time, that then the system will alert them to let them know that they should open enrollment for that employee and give them the ability to elect benefits. That's what's going to ensure that they're compliant with the Affordable Care Act in case of an audit. So that next piece, obviously, is open enrollment. So our open enrollment tool is so user friendly because it provides employees with the ability to not only do this in the comfort of their own home because of cloud-based technology, but it's going to allow them to go through and elect benefits tab by tab. So it's not going to be confusing. We can no longer use those you know, packets and charts and manual paperwork and ensuring that every page has been, has been completed, but rather you can use a virtual open enrollment tool. It's not only going to speed up the enrollment times and lessen the amount of the open enrollment period, but it's also going to help your clients give their employees a tool that they can feel confident in using and then they can make the decision that's best for them, their spouse, and their family. So what we see here is this employee, he already has benefits with the company, so you can see what he had elected for the previous plan year. But I'm going to show you a new open enrollment. So I'm just going to simply click Start Open Enrollment. And the first tab is the Instruction tab. Now, I'm not going to go through the entire open enrollment process. I just want to give you a taste of the functionality. Okay, So while we're covering a lot today from time and labor management, which is everything pertaining to time collection, HR with the open enrollment, this all is feeding into the ACA component because it's all one interface. Okay, So I'm going to show you the ACA piece after this because this plays a vital role in the Affordable Care Act component. So here we have the instruction tab. We are going to pull in the medical, dental, life, all of the options that we're giving employees in the open enrollment. We're going to get that information from you as their health benefit broker. So you are still playing a vital role in ensuring that your clients have everything they need 
to track compliance and also their employees, everything they're supposed to be with the Affordable Care Act. So we're going to get the carrier and plan information from you. We are going to configure the solution specifically to each one of your clients. And that way the employees can jump in here. They can view the plan document virtually. It can go out to the website. Even see the premium deductible amounts right here in front of them. And again, I am accessing this from a Surface Pro 3 tablet. I could be on dial-up internet on a really, really antiquated desktop. You could be on a Mac. You could be on your phone. Whatever you're using, if they can inter access the internet, you have the ability to go in here and do the open enrollment elections and even access the information. It's safe and secure. We do have protection on our cloud, so to say, to ensure that you can have security in knowing that all this information is monitored and how securely, okay? So we're building all of this in and implementation, ensuring all the plan information is accurate. And then the employee just simply selects or waives. They have to select or waive the option before they can confirm when they get to the end. This is going to lessen the risk of an employee submitting an incomplete enrollment because they have to either waive or select every option in order to get that tab at the top to check, okay? And again, we can click the magnifying glass, get a deeper look into the plan that's being offered, and we can even compare two plans side by side if the employee wants to see a PPO versus an HMO, side by side comparison, okay? Again, we're loading in all this information. We're not asking you to key this in. We're getting this from you in Excel or a CSV format, and we're going to import it, and we're going to do that for you through implementation, okay? We can add in 401k tab for contribution to the 401k. We can add in an FSA or HSA or HRA tab, depending on what your clients are offering. And again, we can help provide those Section 125 services if that's something that your clients are needing today. All right, so I'm going to jump back out to the dashboard of Josh Bronson. We walked through his timesheet, or we talked about time selection options. Um, we have his company information, we have an org chart, a directory, he can do his pay statements. And then we went through and did the open enrollment piece. So I know I'm moving quick. The purpose of today is just to give you a high-level overview of the Beyond Pay 2.0 functionality. So from here, I'm going to jump into a view of a director of HR, and I'm going to show you the ACA component, because I know that's what most of you are on here to see specifically. So we showed you the tools that are collecting the information for the Affordable Care Act, the 24 and 25 C forms. And now I'm going to show you where that information goes. Once I log in with the right password, I'll show you where the information goes. Let's see here. Oh, of course, I'm going to have to enter it in. No worries. Like the system knows that I'm not Kathy and Josh at the same time. So let me just double check or something. <laughs> All right. So here we go on the dashboard of Kathy Watts. She's the director of HR. It's a completely different view that we're having here, okay? She has access to the employee's pay, their social security numbers, their address, the information that other employees wouldn't be able to see about each other because we would restrict that. So right here, one of the first things we see on her dashboard, the Affordable Care Act, because that is the focus of her energy right now with her having to track the historical data for 2015 and also ensure that she files at 24 and 25 C in February of 2016 in case she gets audited. She just wants to make sure everything is as it should be. What you see right here is the ACA compliance overview. This is this is what it's all about right here. This is the main reason why most of you all are on the line is you want to know how can we help your clients track variable hour employees so that they feel confident that they're compliant and how are they going to get the forms filled out. This piece here is communicating with time and labor management and payroll to bring in the information that you're seeing here. So you see the cumulative total of hours worked by all employees within that month. It's even going to say if we have any employees approaching these ACA status of full time, give us a compliance alert. This is even going to send an email notification if an employee is approaching the ACA status of full time. So it's going to help your clients to ensure that they either downgrade the employee or they open it up and offer them health benefits. So we're going to click on the July cumulative total of hours worked by all employees. And we're going to see a list of all the employees that work and their individual cumulative totals. Again, no one's typing this information in. The system is so intuitive that it's actually calculating these totals on its own because this client is using the time and labor management portion of the system. So it's calculating those totals, all right? So I'm going to log in here. We're going to look at Kelly Clarkson. Wouldn't that be fun if she was an employee of ours? So we can see here, I'm looking back at the historical data. I can just keep going back because we're going to pull in the historical data for your clients. 
because there's no sense in bringing them on board to a solution that isn't going to pull in their historical data, right? Because that information is needed for the forms and in case of an audit. So we're going to pull that information in, which is why we're educating on this right now, because it may seem like your clients have a lot of time before they have to file these forms, but they don't. We're already nearly three-fourths, well, we are three-fourths of the way through 2015, which is hard to believe, and so you need to have a system in place for your agency and also for all of your clients, okay? Because they trust you with a solution. They're, they're coming to you as the person who is all-knowing of the Affordable Care Act, and so we want to partner with you to make sure you have all the tools you need to retain your clients and help them to be successful and educated on the Affordable Care Act. There's nothing to be scared of if the tools are offered, right? So here we can see the cumulative totals of each month that Kelly Clarkson works, and then we can see her status, her month status and her Affordable Care Act status. We also have the initial administrative measurement and stability month and the standard measurement administrative and stability month. The system is calculating all this. We put the information into the system that tells it how to calculate these numbers that you're seeing here. So again, no one's manually seeing this in. No one is on the back end pushing information back and forth. This is happening if your client is utilizing us for payroll, time and labor management, and human resources, okay? Because human resources is where the open enrollment tool lies. So we can see whether or not our minimum value and affordable health care coverage is being offered. That's a big piece at 9.5% of the household income. The system is going to calculate that information. You all are still responsible for ensuring the proper plan is offered. The system is just going to have this information here to ensure that when it comes time to fill out the form, that the information flows directly through. You can even see who's approaching the Affordable Care Act of standard full time possible downgrade, and then the coverage code. All that information lies right here. It can easily be, you know, view historical data going backwards and forwards. We can even filter by month, by username, employee ID. So a lot of functionality here. And then this can easily be exported in case you need this information to go to someone. Maybe as their broker, you have your login, and you're going in here and monitoring this activity, and you want to send this to the client. Just a reminder, hey, look, these are the employees that are approaching me if you set us a full time or maybe you just want it for your own records. You're always able to easily export all the data in the system and save it for your own records, okay? That is, of course, if your clients want to give you access to the system. So we've seen all types of different methods. Um, as I mentioned earlier, if you want to take this on like the Zenefis type of model where you are saying that this is a tool you're offering your clients, you're going to pay for the HR piece and the Affordable Care Act piece so that it's free to your clients to utilize, that's an option. If you want your agency to be using this as the open enrollment tool that you all offer for open enrollment for your clients, that's an option. Or if you just want to say to your clients, we have a tool for you, we've partnered with Beyond Pay, and we're going to bring them in to evaluate your current processes to see if they can help. Because at the end of the day, we just want to help companies be confident with the Affordable Care Act. That is our purpose here. We just want to help. We just want to ensure that people are no longer scared, but rather educated, informed, and able to move forward. Okay? So let's take a look at the 1094 and 1095C forms. This is what's worrying everyone. I mean, I'm going out and talking to groups on a daily basis, and this is the part that's scaring them the most. No company has time to sit and manually fill these forms out. And you also do not want your clients hiring someone to do these forms, because anytime someone is manually filling this information in for every single employee, there's a risk of human error. So I want to show you right here. This is a 1094C. Elaine, you've all seen it on IRS.gov. I'm going to click Populate Form. It's going to automatically populate the employer information for the 1094C. So again, reducing the risk of human error because no one's manually keying in the information. So there's no risk of the EIN being put in incorrectly or the address. Because we all know the IRS doesn't really like mistakes made on their form, right? <laughs> so the system's going to eliminate that. So here you're even going to have the ability to finalize the form and file it virtually. Now I'm going to go back and we're going to take a look at the 1095C. That's the one that has the employee and the employer information and the employee has to receive a copy. Now we can add all the employees to 1095Cs at once. Think about how much time that's going to save, especially for your groups that are, let's say, several hundred. That director of HR, GFO, you all are not going to have to sit there and write the employee and employer information 200, 300 times, but rather you're just clicking one or two buttons and it's filling itself out. So it's really reducing a lot of time and a lot of risk, okay? So I'm going to add one because I just want to show you rather than adding my whole demo company. I'm going to do Jennifer Aniston. 
again, we have a lot of fun people in our demo company, Kelly Clarkson, and you just never know. <laughs> so here's the 1095C, and here it is, blank, just like irs.gov, but the magic happens when I click Populate Form. Look at that. Jennifer Anderson's information, if her social security number was in her profile, it would automatically populate her address, and then again, the employer information is also showing, as with Part 2 and Part 3, to ensure that the information is complete and ready for virtual filing to the IRS. And as you all know, if you file virtually to the IRS, they are giving an extension on the amount of time that you have to file it. You do have until the end of March rather than just the end of February, which is a really neat add-on there. Not that anyone's going to need more time because the system's going to make it really easy, but it is nice to know that they're giving quote-unquote special treatment to people that are doing it virtually because they don't want to receive these in paper form. All right? Do you have any clients that do need to complete this manually? You always have the ability to download the PDF and have it available in the paper format. All right, so again, I know I moved really, really quick. I hope that you were able to get a good taste of the functionality with the Beyond Page 2.0 platform. So not only is it all encompassing of the Affordable Care Act tools to help your clients stay compliant, it's communicating these pieces here, the Affordable Care Act component and the form are communicating directly with time and labor management for time collection of those variable hour employees, human resources for benefit open enrollment to ensure that that proper health care and affordable health care coverage was offered, and then payroll, so it knows how much the employee is making to understand whether or not it was the right health care coverage. So again, thank you all so much for your time. At this point, we want to open it up for Q&A because I know there's a lot of questions out there. And if Jonathan can't get to all of your questions, don't fret because I will be following up with all of you individually to get your thoughts answer any further questions, and then hopefully have the opportunity to meet with the client of yours and see if we can help bring the solutions for the Affordable Care Act. Great. Thank you, Kristen. Um, so as Kristen said, please ask questions. So in the GoToWebinar interface, you should see a little area that says questions, and you can just type in a question there and we'll get to them. So we already have lots of questions. So um, I'm not sure we're going to be able to get through all of them, so I apologize in advance, and I'll probably end up apologizing again. Uh, but so please ask questions, though. We'll be sure to follow up with every each and every question. Um, so these will give us some good things to follow up with you if you have individual questions that you'd really like to talk about. Um, so number one, uh, is this for large groups or small groups or both? So answer is it's definitely for both. Uh, ACA obviously applies a little bit more to companies with more than 50 employees or at least approaching 50 employees. Um, so like with our system, you could help calculate the FTEs to determine if they're an applicable large employer or not. Um, so definitely our strength lies in customers that are uh, on the larger side. Um, but we, we service customers from anywhere from one employee uh, to, to 5,000 employees. And um, the platform itself is capable of, of handling tens of thousands of employees. So uh, there really is, there's virtually no limit, um, but obviously the ACA really does correspond pretty well, uh, does work pretty well for companies with 50 or more employees. Um, so a couple questions, yeah, lots of, <laughs> lots of questions on cost. So we're not gonna go into the, the actual cost, um, but what I can talk about um, is some of the different deployment options that we have. And, and Kristen alluded to this a little bit. Um, so we can, we've worked out a lot of different arrangements with brokers and accountants and um, other third party business, uh, business providers, such as uh, some companies offering HR services, you know, all sorts of different kinds of models. And, and what we try and do is come up with a, a bit of a custom package of how you would like this to work. And, but so here are some of the options that we have that have worked well for other customers. Number one, uh, you could basically private label our services and put yourselves out as a, uh, an ASO or a, um, you know, a full service outsourcing HR department, or, you know, you could kind of put yourselves out there as a provider. And then beyond pay kind of takes a little bit of a, a, a step back and we're the tier two support and we're offering you help to give you the tools and uh, processes and infrastructure. And so that is one model. Uh, that's not as common, but that is something that we can talk about. Uh, the, the much more common model that we're having a lot of success with is brokers are saying, hey, you know what? I offer benefits. Um, I do a really good job with, uh, with my benefits for my customers, um, but ADP paychecks, if I refer them in, I'm gonna lose the BOR at some point. Uh, Zenefits, 
is going out there and saying they're offering free everything. Um, so what we've kind of put together is an opportunity for you to say, hey, I would like to offer the Beyond Pay solution. I'm going to cover the cost of the HR and time attendance and maybe ACA or you know whatever you can pick and choose what you want to cover. And now when customers come to you, you have a solution that you can say, hey, um, we also offer free HR. And, um, and in fact, when you look at, you know, some other companies <laughs> offering such as, you know, the Zenefits in the world, um, you know, we have a more full featured solution as well. You know, this isn't a watered down HR system. This is a full featured HR management system, uh, completely full with uh, payroll services, uh, payroll functionality, time and attendance, ACA, uh, applicant tracking, recruitment, performance reviews. You know, we have a really full comprehensive solution, whereas you're not going to see that in some of our competitors. Uh, so that's the kind of the second model. That's probably the most common model where you can actually come in and say, hey, we're offering this for you. And um, you're basically getting HR for free. And then just for a small per check charge, a couple, you know, for you know less than you're probably paying for your current provider, you can get payroll up and running and have a full featured HR management system. So that's that's kind of the model that we think is best, and we've been really pushing and it's actually been very successful. Uh, the third model, uh, which is a very viable option, just refer your customers into us, and we'll take care of it. So you're going to have a you're going to have a partner with Beyond Pay and be able to say, hey, we have Beyond Pay. They have an awesome solution. We can hook in with them, and uh, they can help us run reports and get us the information we need for open enrollment and benefits. And um, you just send them contact over to us. In fact, you can send them over to Kristen and we'll take care of it. Um, so that's a perfectly viable, a, a very good option. That's a good way to get your feet wet, so to speak, uh, to kind of step in. And um, But just know that there are some other options that we can work out if you wanted to set up some kind of solution, kind of similar. Again, you know, the, the Zenefits is the big elephant in the room right now um, is a very good solution for that. And again, this works for pretty much any size customer. Uh, but obviously, when we talk about ECA and such, it's it's more geared towards the that mid market um, and maybe the um, you know hundred, two hundred, five hundred thousand employee companies. That's really where we kind of thrive. Uh, but the you know you can certainly do this for the small groups as well. All right, so that was probably a long way of answering that question. Um, another question. Okay, so I got this question twice too. So um, with what features? we offer okay so um, check out our website beyondpay.com and you can get kind of get a little bit of an overview I'd also encourage you guys to reach out and ask um, in fact I'm gonna go to our next slide here I'll encourage you guys to go to sales to send an email to sales at beyondpay.com if you guys have questions about features and functionality uh, happy to schedule additional conversations as well to talk about some of the different options um, but you know, really what we want to do is we want to come in and like Kristen said, and consult with your customer and say, hey, what are you doing now? What do your processes look like? What are some of your pain points? What are some of the things that, you know, you wish your system could do that's not doing? You know, maybe you had, maybe your current solution has all these features that we're talking about, but maybe you just couldn't implement them well. You know, that's something that Beyond Pay does really well is, is we know how to talk with a customer and identify the things that need to be set up and then come up with a plan with actually implementing them and getting the customer to actually use those features. Um, you know, lots of people say they have tons of features, but how many times are they actually using them? Um, you know, that, that's something that we do exceptionally well. Um, so I really want to encourage you guys to reach out, ask questions, uh, send an email to sales at beyondpay.com. And we're actually out of time, so I'm not going to be able to get to the rest of your questions. So I, I do apologize. However, we will be following up with each of you uh, and answering those questions individually. So again, thank you everybody for attending. Um, we are very appreciative of the time that you spent with us and chose to give us 30 minutes of your time. And we hope that uh, we hope that maybe we can have a solution for you and we can work together. Uh, so again, thank you again. Have a great afternoon. Uh, hopefully, we'll talk to you soon. Bye.